Hello everyone. <clears throat> so in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to publish MTA STS policy for your domain using Zemes. Now, <clears throat> there are a couple of expectations um, and, and, and the most important one is that you already know what MTA STS is. So you know the what part and you also know the why part, meaning why do you need MTA STS. So I'm going to skip those two parts and I'm going to focus on the how part, meaning how do you establish those enzymes. So let's get started. So when you publish MTSTS, basically you need two DNS records and you need one web page. Actually, it's not a web page, it's a text document served through a web page. And there are a couple of requirements um, uh, for that document. First, the path has to be well known slash mtasts.txt. The host name must match with your domain name and it has to use HTTPS. Now, notice I'm using bzine.com as a domain name, which is a, uh, an example uh, that I've uh, chosen. Of course, uh, in your case, that value is going to change. But throughout this video, I'm going to be using bzine.com as an example. So there are a couple of requirements. The first one is that um, uh, you have to configure Zeme so that it uses start TLS and that can be done under SMTP configuration and make sure uh, start TLS is enabled. The other two things are optional, but they are very helpful. The first one is that um, I have configured this particular Zeme to use a, a certificate from Let's Encrypt. Um, there are two benefits in using Let's Encrypt. First, it's free. And the second benefit is that it can be done programmatically. So you will see later on in the demo how easy it is to publish certificates using Let's Encrypt. Um, and then the second thing is the DNS integration. So in this demo, I have already configured uh, my Zemes so that it can talk to GoDaddy's DNS server. And uh, that also makes your life a lot easier. This way you don't have to publish anything um, on a DNS server. So let's see how all these things work. All right, so let's see how that's done. For the, to do that, I go to reports, MTSTS. Now, since bzine.com does not have a policy yet, um, Zeems is going to display these steps. And these are the steps that I need to publish a document. The first step is already done, meaning that I have to configure the SMTP server to um, to handle start TLS. That part's already done. The second one is uh, publishing mtsta.txt file, and it has to be published on this URL, All right? And that's that's the part that I'm going to show you how to do that with Zemes. The second, the third, and the fourth steps are rel relatively easy because that's just uh, pushing a text record into uh, a DNS server. So let's let's do the publishing right now. Now, in order to publish, there are two ways I can do that. The first one is recommended um, and through Zemes. And when you when you do that, it does a lot of things for you. So I'll come back to that one. The second method is that you publish it yourself on any web server other than Zemes. Now, when you do that, you have to make sure that all these requirements are met, meaning the host name must be this. It has to listen on 443 and it has to have a valid certificate. Now, the benefits of using Zemes to publish this file is that it does all of these for you. So you don't have to worry about any of that. All right. So that and that's the part that I'm going to show you in this video. All right. So now let's talk about this policy file. So this is the suggested policy file. Of course, you can change it if you want to. Um, the mode is what defines how you want other servers to treat your domain. Initially, it should be test. It should be set to testing. And once you're comfortable with your settings and there are no errors, you can switch to enforce. The second line is a set of MX record. Now, Zemes already figures out the MX for you, and then it, it creates uh, this line for you. If there are multiple MX, you will see multiple MX on this uh, on this side. The last line is the age in seconds that's basically used for caching purposes. 
um, it is recommended that you you put this either a week or uh, two weeks so that servers don't hit your zines very often. All right, so once you're satisfied with this, all you gotta do is click publish. So now the publishing part is done. All right, now, but, but it's still, uh, there are some steps that are left. So the first thing is that I need to have either an A record or a C name record so that this value resolves, okay? The second one is that I have to create an SSL certificate. Now, before I create the SSL certificate, I have to make sure that this part is complete because if the host name does not resolve anywhere, then I won't be able to create the SSL certificate. The last two steps there, you know, you can do it in any order, but you have to make sure that the first two steps, you don't change the order. All right, so let's do that. So in order for me to push this to GoDaddy, all I do is click this button. Now notice one other thing. Uh, Zeems creates a, a new tab for you, leaving this tab as is so that you can complete these tasks uh, at a later time. All right, so now um, all I gotta do is click Submit, and once done, it is going to push. So now it has been pushed. If I run this command from a command prompt, it should give me the results, okay? All right, before I go any further, I am going to complete the uh, step number three and step number four. So again, this is a text record into GoDaddy and I click submit and that's done. And then the, the last step, which is this. So now my DNS is configured, meaning I have made three changes in my DNS. First, it adds a CNAME record for this and that CNAME record points to miles.cinematrix.com. Second, I've added um, a text record for this uh, name and then another one for that name. All right, so that, that part is done. Now, finally, I have to reissue the certificate. So before I reissue certificate, I just wanna make sure that this is working. Okay, so now the easiest way to do that is to just go here. Uh, either I can run an NS lookup, okay? Or I simply open another tab and type this. Now, if the Zeem's interface comes up, that means that it's, it's done. And so right now I can see it's not done yet. Um, um, so I have to wait a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna pause this video here and then come back after a few seconds once I know that my DNS is pushed. Okay, so I just did it again and now I see that DNS is there. Okay, now what I gotta do is, is reissue the certificate. And in order to reissue the certificate, all I do is click here. Now, the current certificate is for miles.cinematrix.com and Zeems will automatically add another host name to the certificate. So I don't have to do anything. All I do is click submit, proceed. And once this is done, it should display that the certificate has been created and then I'm going to have to restart. Okay, so now my certificate has been issued and all I do is restart. All right, so now my server has been restarted. If I go to reports, now I don't see any reports yet because um, I just configured it. So I have to wait about 24 hours in order to see some, some data, some real data here. Now, what I did was, um, instead of showing you the report here, I have um, opened another tab in which I'm connected to Cinemetrics website. And this is the report that is generated by uh, on the Cinemetrics website. So here, you can see the number of emails that were sent from Google and from Microsoft, and it displays the success rate and all that. Now, if there are any errors, you would see those errors down at the bottom. Right now, I don't see any errors because everything was fine. Um, so the goal is that you should run your MTSTS policy in testing mode for a few days. Make sure there are no errors. Uh, if there are errors, then you need to figure out why did those errors come up. If there are no errors, you can switch your policy. So in order to switch your policy, you go back to your MTSCS, you click uh, modify, and then 
you simply change this testing to enforce. And that is pretty much it.